Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, says the government of St. Kitts and Nevis has taken several steps that have steadily led to the stabilization of the Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis and the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Fund. Prime Minister Drew, who holds the ministerial portfolios for finance and social security, stated from the onset that there were some improprieties that pointed to the mismanagement of funds at the Development Bank under the former Team Unity administration. The Prime Minister also reported that the hemorrhaging of the fund by the previous government had put, a, put the Social Security Fund in a poor financial state. While appearing on Freedom FM's Issues program on Thursday, Prime Minister Drew said the Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis borrowed close to $120 million from Social Security and Development Bank was so badly managed it's not in a position to pay Social Security back. The Development Bank owes Social Security $119 million. Nine hundred and twenty one thousand nine hundred and fifty nine and seventy eight cents. One hundred and nineteen million, almost one hundred and twenty million, owed to the Social Security. None of this money was borrowed under the new administration. This is what we met. The last time any money was paid to the to Social Security on the former administration was on was January 2022 and the amount paid was a meager 200,000. The amount that Social Security is supposed to be paid is $697,000 per month. But they were paying $200,000 per month, less than one third to service the debt. And in addition to that, the last time anything was paid was January 2022. The Prime Minister said shortly after taking office, his administration did the responsible thing of making monthly payments to service the Development Bank's huge loan to Social Security that was left by the former administration. We started to pay every month from September. So we came in August, we started to pay right away from October, and we started to pay the $200,000. Again, Social Security had no money. I mean, the, the not Social Security, Development Bank had no money. The bank was on the verge of collapse. I couldn't say that to the country for people to lose confidence and run on the bank and basically sink the bank. That would have been the worst scenario. I had to put the country's interest above immediate political interest or any other interest. The immediate interest was, let's say, let us save Development Bank. In June 2023, the government increased its payment to Social Security to $250,000. And according to the Prime Minister, the payments will be increased further to $300,000 per month. Now, Prime Minister Drew said he is proud to declare to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis that the Development Bank is under good leadership and the Development Bank has been stabilized.